My son, if you have made yourself responsible for your neighbor or given your word to another, you are taken as in a nap by the words of your mouth. The saints of your lips have overcome. Do this, my son, and make yourself free because you have come into the power of your neighbor. Go without waiting and make a strong request to your neighbor. Give no sleep to your eyes or rest to them. Make yourself free, like the robe from the hand of the ark, and the bird from him who puts an ant from. Go to the end, you are hate of her work. Give thought to her way and be wise. Have no chief or seer or ruler. She gets her meat in the summer, storing up food at the time of the grand cutting. How long will you be sleeping or hate of work? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little rest, a little folding of the hands and sleep. Then loss will come on you like an outlaw, and your knee like an armed man. A good for nothing man is an evil doer. He goes on his way causing trouble with false words, making signs with his eyes, rubbing with his feet, and even nails with his fingers. His mind is ever designing evil, he let loose violent acts. For this cause his downfall will be sudden, quickly he will be broken, and there will be no help for him. Six things are hated by the Lord, seven things are disgusting to him. Eyes of pride, a foul tongue, hands which take life without cause, a heart full of evil designs, feet which are quick and running after sin, a false witness, Breathing out in true words, and one who lets loose violent acts among his brothers. My son, keep the rule of your father, and have in memory the teaching of your mother. Keep them ever folded in your heart, and have them hanging round your neck. When you're walking, it will be your guide. When you're sleeping, it will keep watch over you. When you're awake, it will have talk with you. For the rule is a light, and the teaching is a shining light and the guiding words of training are the way of life. They will keep you from the evil women, from the smooth tongue of the strange women. Let not your heart's desire go after her fair body, let her her eyes take her prisoner. For a loose woman is looking for a cake of bread, but another man's wife goes after one's very life. May a man take fire to his breast without burning his clothing. Or may one go on lighted coals, and his feet not be burnt. So it is with him who goes unto his neighbor's wife. He who has anything to do with her will not go free from punishment. Men do not have a low opinion of a thief who takes food when he is in need of it. But if he is taken in the act, he will have to give back seven times as much, giving up all his property which is in his house. He who takes another man's wife is without all sense. He who does it is the cause of destruction to his soul. Wounds will be his and loss of honor, and his shame may not be washed away. For bitter is the wrath of an angry husband, is the day of punishment he will have no mercy. He will not take any payment, and he will not make peace with you through your money offerings are increased.